Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, we are finally getting to uh, go out and fish today. We're going to be doing some bass fishing here at uh, just a local community park that I don't usually fish that often, but my sister was playing softball here last night and I took the dog for a walk down um, on the path by the pond or the lake, whatever you want to call it, and I saw the biggest bass that I've ever seen in my life in this place. It gets overfished a lot, so there's usually nothing over like 15 inches in here and it gets restocked a lot, but I saw it in my eyes it looked like at least a five pound bass so that's why we're back here this morning um we're gonna be just bank fishing sight fishing uh looking back looking for this big bass that i saw yesterday and hopefully catching a bunch more along the way so stick with it and we'll see what happens guys i can see him he's still in the same spot let's see if i can get him to bite there's a male and a female right there They just moved off. So I don't know if they've got a nest here or not, but I'm just going to sit here and be patient and hope they come back because that's the fish I came here to catch. He's still here in the same spot. Just gotta figure out what I can do to get them to bite right now. I mean, this lure is going right in front of him, and he just doesn't want anything to do with it. Might have to throw that Texas rig and get it to start like hitting their on their nest. I mean, these are going, this jerk bait's going right past him and he just does not care. Oh, this is the time I wish I was a better fisherman to know what to do. Let's try this Texas rig creature bait out real quick. See if we can't throw that up into the, where I think their nest is at and see if we can't get a bite.
so they won't mess with their hidden out the stuff. Really? Yeah. Put them all over there. Yeah, that's a three pound fish. You wanna hold this one for just a second? Yeah, yeah, keep him out of there. Yeah. God damn. Is he still there? Yeah, he's right there. I knew once I saw you walking over that, that one of these fish would get caught. Well, that one's gone. This one'd be a lot easier to catch. Yeah, because that's what the females don't really protect anything until the male's out there. God, dude, that's a healthy fish, though. Yeah. Even this one. Yeah, the size of that fish, it almost looks like it's a female. I know. See, that's what jig fishing's not my deal. Like, I knew that would probably be what would catch them to get it in on that nest, but I just, I'm not good with it. Yeah. Can you swim that way? Yeah, I'm just going to wait for it to come back and see where it quits at. Damn. I ain't held a bass this big in a while. That one dwarfs that one, so that one's got to be. I know. That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's a three. Yeah. This one's got to be huge, man. That's the one I saw last night. I, I freaking got chilled. I've never seen a bass that big in here. I thought it was a carp at first. God, dude, this thing is pretty fat. I don't know what they're eating in here, but they're eating good. Yeah, that one there almost looks like it's a female. Yeah. I don't know how to tell them. It's just so fat. Yeah. This tail's not too bloody, so it's not a fan. All right, guys, we're back at the same lake that we were at this morning. Um, as you just saw, my buddy was able to come over and um, get that male off of the bed. It was about a three and a half, four pound male. Um, but we couldn't get the female, so I'm back. It's later that evening. Um, we're going to go back to the same spot and try to get that female. And my buddy also told me that, that at a different part of the lake that he saw what he thought was at least an 8-pounder, so we might go over there as well. So stick with it, and hopefully we'll be getting that female tonight. Ooh, boy. Guys, I told you it was coming and it came. I'm out of breath because I ran back to my car because I didn't want to get wet. Whew, but it is coming down out there. If it would have just been rain, I probably would have stayed and tried to catch that fish, but it's thunder, lightning, it's all of it. Wind, it's just no good, so. I'm hoping that it's just a small storm and that it blows over real quick and I can go get a few more casts on that fish before day, before nighttime. But uh, it's not looking like that's gonna happen. So if it does, I'll see you later. If not, uh, the fish wins today and we'll be back for him. I guarantee you that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Um, just the one four pound male off that bed. Couldn't get the female, but uh, we'll definitely be back. Uh, this lake's looking a lot better than it has in past years, and there's a lot more big bass out here than there has been in the past. So we'll definitely be back out here trying to catch some of these big females, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, but if you like the fishing videos, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the last video, click right here. If you need to subscribe and haven't subscribed already, click right here. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one.